My name is Rita Ibanez. I am the wife of Senior Master Sergeant Scott Ibanez. He's stationed in Korea right now. Um, I have three wonderful children. We are from San Antonio and my husband's about to retire and we're here forever now. Um, when uh, my husband PCS is somewhere, I usually do a check-in with the new doctors and this doctor did a blood test when we first got here and uh, found out I was not absorbing B12. I was sent here to Bansi from um, my doctor at Wilf Wilford Hall and, um, and found out I had stomach cancer and uh, a month later I was having my stomach removed and ended up on the ECMO machine here at Bansi. I was on ECMO almost two weeks. And uh, when I came to, I actually thought it was the same day as my initial surgery. That's how much I don't remember. I don't remember going into distress or anything. I don't remember any of that. My mom was there from day one, from the moment of my, uh, they told me what I, that I had cancer till, till now this very day. She's always been checking on me. She slept outside my room while I was in a coma and she never left. She was never far away. I really wanted to extend my appreciation because everything happened so fast. I don't know what happened um, and I'd like to see the machine and how it works and kind of get a little bit of closure on what happened and just show the team how, how grateful I am for what they did for me. <laughs> Thank you. We never got a chance. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. It was our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very, very much. Well, Catherine Negard was there when you were being treated, and so was Dr. Delavope. Were you the one that braided her hair, right? I may have been. I know that this is this is important for you yeah. and for them and, and this really this is so important for us too. So this is an ECMO machine. We kind of have our mannequin set up almost in kind of the configuration that you were um, you had uh, two big lines like this that were connected to you. One was in your groin, draining blood, and then we actually had one in your neck here that was putting the blood back in. And you were on the ventilator then and on medicines to keep you sedated and pain-free while your lungs healed uh, and on this machine to provide artificial lung support. Ultimately our mission is to take care of Department of Defense beneficiaries and there's not a lot of ECMO centers in the United States and we happen to be a center of excellence that then we get to provide this service to the civilian community as well and we put a lot of time and hours and and our hearts and souls into this to care for the people and and it's um, it's emotionally draining at times but moments like this even with bad outcomes uh, moments that that patients have with their families and the families have with them is is what brings joy to us uh, to continue doing this despite the the stress and everything that's that goes into it. Um, you come and do this at a time where several of us really need this to keep us going. And it's so timely that you're here and it's, um, it's just amazing. And you're a part of our family from the moment that we started taking care of you. And I wasn't even here then, but you're a part of my family now because you've survived this and you've helped us to grow and we're proud of everything that you've been through and that your family's been through. And we're proud that, that we're together. <laughs> I just hope they just know how much I appreciate it and actually I love them. <laughs> they helped save my life. And I just want them to know that I appreciate that. That it's, it's not for, for nothing.